All right, everybody. So it's pandemic time. It's crafting with pandemics. I'm not sure what to call this right now because this is a new thing. Okay, so materials that you have at home that you can make with. Let's see. Uh, all y'all ran out to the grocery store and bought all the things. And now, and of course, you forgot your bags. We forgot our bags. We all forgot our bags. It's okay. So we have a bunch of our bags. And we put the bags in a bag. And we put them in the cabinet. And we said, I'll totally take those back. It will be fine. But we won't. You know we won't. But I got a great craft for it. So we're going to take these bags that have been collecting in our cabinet for like ever. And we're going to turn them into what's called plarn. Okay. So this is, it's called plarn, like plastic yarn. Okay. So this is... What we're going to turn it into and then for those of you that are really crafty you can take your either it's called a Q or um, a 16 millimeter crochet hook you can crochet with it and then you can turn that into oh this is one I've been working on this is the sleeping mat, a sleeping mat for somebody who is experiencing homelessness. Now, the way that I've been doing this, because <clears throat> I want to do this with the kiddos, this video is not for the kiddos. This is just for you and me, okay? I will make one for the kiddos. Um, that's a little easier, maybe a little less smart. Okay, so what I've been doing is making them this size, which is uh, 10 stitches across and 10 rows down and then I sewed them all together. If you guys hear a lot of like uh, mining or, or weird noises in the background, that's because my family is doing Minecraft while I'm Hi. doing this. Hi family! Hi. I asked them to be quiet so they're not like, going to give me a shout out, but that's okay. Alright, so how to make plastic bag porn. Even, you know what, even if you're not going to crochet, you're like, Beth, I am not going to do that. You know what would be awesome is if you go ahead and make the ball, the, the, the yarn farm ball for me, and then I can crochet it, or my students can crochet it so that we can make these projects. That would be awesome. I can give you something to do, something the kids can do. It'll last a little while at least. It's something to do, and it's good for the environment, or at least it's less bad. Okay, so here's how. I'm going to switch. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to record for you guys um, how we're going to turn our plastic bags into farm. All right, first thing you do is you get your bag. It doesn't matter what color it is, I mean, unless you want to make one all one color, you want to make patterns, it doesn't matter. You open it up and you flatten it out like this. You want to get out all those air pockets just because that's going to give you an easier time. Fold it in half like that. Fold it in half like that. Cut off the seam here. Cut off the handles and you don't want this junk either, so cut that off. Alright, then you're going to fold it in half like that. Make sure you're actually in half there. Put your scissors in that fold. Cut that in half. Fold it in half one more time. Again, putting your scissors in that fold and giving it a nice cut there. Okay, and now you have these like this. Okay, I make a, a small collection of these and put them off to the side. And then when I'm all done, then I'll make a nice long um, chain. So here I've got some white ones and I've got some brown ones. I'm going to show you how to then tie them together um, using two different colors so it's easier for you to see. What you do is you open it up like this and you open up the next one and I like to put it between my thumbs to kind of give it a little more of a rope quality. Put one inside the other and then pull it through and you can just pull that right through like that. Now the trick is is that you want to make sure that it's all the way on the polar opposite side of the knot because if you don't do that, I'll show you what happens if you don't do that, you end up with these really weird loops. So 
Again, just loop it through and pull, but I didn't put it at the polar end, and so that when I've got it, I'm starting to pull. see how it makes this weird loop here. It's not a big deal, not all is lost, just take the knot out. So even if you come across that while you're crocheting, you can just pull out the knot, get to that other end, and pull that. All right, I'm gonna show you guys one more time, nice and slow. Yep. Put that in. Now see, I've got one on this side, and one on this side. I take this side here, and I put it through that loop. I take this side, push it down, and pull. All right, last time. Pull it through like that. Take this loop into that loop. And you can just pull, or sometimes it's easier if you kind of work that downwards. And then it just slips together like that. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple like that. Once you've got a nice long one, you just start wrapping it up like you would a ball of string or yarn. Now, if you all are worried that you have the coronavirus, or you're worried that you're gonna, I don't know, it's gonna stay on here forever, just get a wipe. <clears throat> and I'll show you. you. Wanna be super cautious about everything, which is good, it's good. We're just gonna get a little Clorox wipe. Just take that on through. Give it a few minutes to dry. And then wrap it up. Alright. Also, the nice thing about this is that it does turn all this bulk into these little tiny squares that are easily packed up into a little baggie. So I like that too. Alright. Hopefully that's a little something for you to do today. Thanks. Bye.